It's a new day. I'm alive and the gods are good. So let's do a video today. So having a new addition to our house, the kitty, it had me having to rearrange some things, such as where my altars are. And so, as you see, and I'll show you, I have converted um, a bookcase into a triple altar. And so this had me thinking about altars and where we can make them and how to turn a bookcase into a sacred space. Turning bookcases to sacred spaces. Let's call it that today. And really it's any flat surface that you can use as an altar as long as it's dedicated to the gods. I remember reading when I first got into paganism years ago. It's hard to believe it's probably been, it has been, what is it, two? 11, 12 years ago, isn't that crazy? I read in one of my first books that they used to say that altars had to be made of wood, no metal or man-made objects in it, meaning they even said about how wooden pegs would have to be used, that it would take away from the natural element to use anything as an altar that would have screws, metals, and all that. Needless to say, I was very distressed when I heard that. Only did I come to find that I made my own altar anyway, because <laughs> I didn't have that option of trying to hunt down a table with wooden, only made with wooden pegs, Amish style or something, you know, and it worked just as well. So for those that are wondering, any flat surface can be your altar for ritual. And so it's very easy to actually dedicate a shrine and altar of what was once something like a bookcase. So what I like to do is I like to use salt water to kind of purify it. It's not really a Hellenic thing, but more of a spiritual thing to just cleanse it of symbolically getting rid of the energy and kind of renews it in a way. If it doesn't do it literally, it just does it symbolically and in a spiritual way to wipe away the old to make new so it's a way to also meditate on the gods as you clean your new surface so i like to use salt water on a cloth and just wipe it down and then just do a little prayer of dedication that this space is now to the gods and this is where i'm going to pray and honor them nothing fancy but then i set up the altar after that and I like to keep my altar separated from everything else. I only use this sacred space for rituals and prayers. Actually doing things like putting it in a bookcase or hidden places like that it will help keep your little friends out of it as well. I've noticed that since I put it in the bookcase that she has no real interest in it, as of now at least. And if she did get in there, it won't tip over as easy as it was when it was out in the open on top of bookcases and such. So I clear some books out and just put it on the inside. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I just wanted to do a short video just talking about altars and how we can just use anything in our home. You don't have to go out of your way to buy special tables to make your altar unless you have to. They can be converted from anything you have in home as long as you dedicate that space to the gods and the gods honor that. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day and I will talk to you later. Bye.